I've been working on it for a few years now, like two years or something. I'd, uh, before I got my record deal, I had written uh, Lost and Found, Wanted More, Fair. You know, I'd had a lot of the tracks already. Um, so, but the production is what has taken such a long time. Production is, the writing for me is quite quick. But uh, working out the sounds and who to work with and things is, is what slows it down. But uh, it's been a really good experience. We had... Um, we had like an orchestra play the strings on all of the tracks, which was absolutely amazing. So, that was great. I think V Festival was definitely one of the highlights because I, I didn't think anybody was going to come and watch me. And then all of a sudden I was on, did the first song and they, this whole crowd came from nowhere and they all started singing along and dancing and things. And that was, that was amazing. And it, it was just, it's very free festivals, you know, and everybody's full of love and happiness and things. And also the, the um, I did Gay Pride in uh, London and Birmingham and Amsterdam and they were incredible. Like, it's such a party atmosphere, and I just, for me, with my music, it is always a party atmosphere, so I love those. Well, I come from a family who uh, do trashy opulence very well. My, um, my mother's side of the family is from uh, the valleys in Wales, and they're very proud, strong women and uh, they were always very glamorous. My grandmother had long nails and these velour jumpsuits and sequins and gold everywhere, you know, very much over the top. Mm. So it's that kind of over the top that isn't expensive, so hence the tra trashy. So it was just kind of, and also because of my background in fashion, I wanted to marry the kind of high glamour look with, you know, perhaps my background that isn't as high glamour. Mm -hmm. which yeah. is more farm and whales and, and that sort of thing. So it's putting the two things together. I spend a lot of time uh, researching. Um, I've I gathered a lot of research from <laughs> my school library and things. I've got like boxes of uh, images and stuff that I've kept over the years from my job in fashion and from studying fashion. And, uh, and I go through them and I kind of, that's how I build up the story for each shoot or each video. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, a lot of involvement. I think it's a really good idea. I think it's a really good idea. It's just so nice to, to have concerts in different places that, like, like the museum last night where, you know, you wouldn't usually go to that museum, perhaps, or this library, but it would introduce you to it, and it's just nice to have different things happening in unusual places. I did spend a lot of time in the library, um, even though I'm dyslexic and I can't really read very well. Um, but yeah, because I was kind of bullied and stuff, didn't have any friends, so the library was a great place to hide out. So yeah, it's kind of homely, it's nice, it's really nice. It's so nice to do somewhere that's uh, like a really intimate gig and, and, and somewhere unusual. I love unusual venues, which it definitely is. <laughs>